Our quarterfinals begin with the Vikings facing the Scots. Next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Yes, indeed, we are starting the quarterfinals matches today. And we are starting with two great teams welcoming back the Mills High School Vikings. And please say hello to the Carlmont Scots. As you remember, gentlemen, we will begin with uh, a, a three for all. I am sorry. It's a three for all. I'm looking at you. I'm excited to have you here. I will ask you a toss-up question worth five points. If you answer correctly for your team, you'll get the chance to earn 10 or 25 points. Here's the first toss-up. Let's get started right away. Like Paris, this French-speaking city is centered on an island. What major Canadian city along the St. Lawrence River? <coughs> yes, Sanjay. Quebec. No is an, a namesake island with a mountain in the middle. Mills, do you know? You can talk it over. Montreal. 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 Say? Montreal. Yes. What Spanish archipelago off the northwest coast of Africa is named after the Latin for dogs and not after little yellow birds? Canary. Canary Islands. Correct. And what island, the third largest in the world and located southwest of the Philippines, is divided among Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei? Borneo. 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 You earned 25 points. Right. Yeah. Next toss up. Name these fundamental particles which have not yet been observed. If this. Christopher? Uh, the Higgs boson? No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. If this particle hypothesized by Pierre Curie were shown to exist, two of Maxwell's equations would have to be revised. Um, Maxwell's equations? Which you know? Neutrino? No, the magnetic monopole. For a tiny state, Delaware played an important part in the American Revolution. Which Delaware delegate to the Continental Congress made a hurried ride from his home to Philadelphia in 17... <coughs> Brandon? Paul Revere? No. In 1776, to cast a tie-breaking vote for independence. I don't know the delegate. Sherman? I don't know. Cast a name. Sherman. It was Caesar Rodney. Never heard of him. After a snake bit her, Orpheus went to the underworld in an attempt... Yes, Anurag. Eurydice? Yes. Uh, Hades agreed to let Orpheus have Eurydice, but Orpheus broke his part of the bargain and did what to lose her again? He looked back? Yes. Orpheus was torn into pieces by maniads, maniads devotees of what god? Eurydice? Eurydice? Poseidon? Poseidon? No, it was that wacky Dionysus. Her novels explore Victorian gender relations in such works as Emma and Mansfield Park. Yes, Anurag. Austin? Yes. Elizabeth Bennet and her four sisters are the central characters in this Austin novel. Pride and Prejudice? Right. And in this early Austin book, Catherine Moreland's worldview is shaped by her excessive reading of Gothic fiction. Sense, Sense and Sensibility? No, it's the one that no one knows. Northanger Abbey. You've got to be a real Austin fan for that one. In 1940, brothers Maurice and Richard opened a drive-in restaurant in San Bernardino, California. In 1955, they sold it to Ray Kroc. Yes, Benjamin. McDonald's. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't accept that according to this. Uh, Ray Kroc turned it into a national chain. And what was the brother's last name? McDonald. McDonald. That's the answer. It says, do not accept McDonald's. Continuing, what was the name of Morgan Spurlock's 2004 documentary in which he ate nothing but McDonald's food for an entire month? Supersize me. Correct. And in 1963, what future Today Show weatherman became the first to appear on TV as Ronald McDonald? It was Willard Scott, the Today Show. Uh, in 2002, he painted Gone, the last of over 240 portraits of his neighbor, Helga Testorf. Name this American artist of distant thunder who died in early 2009. Richard? Turner? No. You can steal. Talk it over. No answer. Andrew Wyeth. The Shelikoff Gulf comprises the northeasternmost part of this body of water. Name this sea off the east coast of Russia. Anurag? Bering? No. You can steal. 
Sea of Ostosk? The, I will accept that. The Sea of Okhotsk is right. Lying east of the Sea of Okhotsk is which volcanic Russian peninsula? Kamchatka. Kamchatka. Right. In the southwest part of the Sea of Okhotsk lies which long island opposite the mouth of the Amur River? That is the Sakhalin Island. Uh, name this field of mathematics that tries to determine the best strategic decision in a situation. Christopher. Game theory? Correct. One problem studied in game theory is this one, where if one inmate stays silent and the other betrays the first inmate, the first spends 10 years in jail while the second is set free. Prisoner's dilemma? Correct. This other problem, named after the host of a game show, and not me, is an attempt to determine if one should change the initial pick of one door out of three after another door is revealed to not contain a prize. It is the Monty Hall problem from Let's Make a Deal. Mike, with his son Greg, Bobby, and Peter, joined with Carol and her daughters Marcia, Jan, and Cindy to form what 70s Sanjay? Brady Bunch. Right. Things were a bit kooky around this family, headed by Gomez and Morticia, attended by Butler Lurch. Pugsley and Wednesday also had an odd Uncle Fester. The what Adams was their family. name? The Adams family. Right. And including Theo, Vanessa, and Rudy, what was the name of the family on The Cosby Show? Huxtable. It was the Huxtables. That's 25 points. And we will be right back after these messages. Don't go away. Now it's time to meet the quiz kids. Once again, here's Brad. Welcome back. After a long and thoughtful conversation and Big Macs all around, we've decided to drop the McDonald's question from our game, which leaves us with a tie score for both teams, 45-45, as we go into our interviews in second round. And let's meet the Mills team. And starting with Richard Zhang. Richard, 17 years old, and you're working toward your driver's permit. It's so a little bit of a delay here. What, what's happened? There... I was busy. It wasn't super important for me, but now I'm going to get it soon. Are you from Earth, Richard? Yes. You, you, it's not important. Well, you know what? <laughs> I was with you. I, I didn't drive till I was 30, so there. You know? Oh. Do it on your own terms. Anurag Dulapali, you're part of a group called Sustainable San Mateo. What is that? Right. So we have student volunteers who contribute to an annual report on how the county's doing. I helped contribute to an article on education in California and the San Mateo County, and we're doing pretty well. They're saying that it's your generation that's gonna make us more aware of how to keep this planet green. So, good for you, good work. Benjamin Benson, welcome to Quiz Kids. First time you've played on TV, right? Yeah. And you're a member of Team Run, and you are- uh, uh, No, it's, it's a Teen Run. Teen Run. Uh, it's a Teen Run Foundation. That's yes. Not, that's not the name. <laughs> okay, but you got to keep the television going there, oh, right, Benjamin. Um, so what do they do? No, uh, it's a Teen Run um, charitable foundation. Uh -huh. I'm on the board of um, that we uh, were raising money for um, to support programs that um, help children that are at risk. Uh, and you raised get, over fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Good for you. We help them get education and vocational programs and the tools they need to sustain that. Good work and good keep yeah. keep up the good rumming, run, run, team, yeah. <laughs> right now I'm gonna give you a chance to earn points and get ahead of the game. We have, have three categories, seven questions in each category. Give me the answer to all seven questions. I'll throw in a 30 point bonus. Today's categories are barbershop, have you for dinner, and what's new? The second or third. What's new? What's new? What's new? What's new? Every answer will contain the word new. Here's your first one. This city is nicknamed the Big Easy and is famed for its French Quarter. New Orleans. New Orleans. Right. It's the name for the economic programs instituted by FDR during the Great Depression. New Deal. Correct. It's book number two in the Stephanie Meyer Twilight series. New Moon. New Moon. You knew that awfully quickly, Benjamin. <laughs> it was the late 20th century spiritual movement involving healing crystals, incense, and metaphysics. New Awakening. Um. It's new awakening. New age. It's what tech support calls a person who is just learning to use a computer, like new. me. New. Newbie. Right. Its airport code is EWR, and it serves the metropolitan New York City region. New York City. 
Uh, it's Newark, New Jersey. Oh. And finally, it's awarded for the most distinguished contribution, uh, contribution to American literature for children. You, Barry. You got 50 yes. points correct. I think that makes 95 points. Congratulations. <laughs> And we will turn to Carl Mott and say hello to Christopher May. Christopher, give us the latest update on robotics. So we're actually going to St. Louis on Wednesday for the national championships. This is great. Yes, it is. It's That's cool. wonderful. Congratulations. You should be very proud. Yeah. Uh, how, when did, um, how long will you be there? We will be there Wednesday till Sunday night. We'll have a great time in those arches and all that cool stuff. And I hope you got your robot wins. Brandon Whiteley, you went to Thailand over spring break? Yes. And uh, you uh, had some fun? Yeah, um, my family and I, we rode an elephant while we were there. All of you on one elephant, or each of you got an elephant? Oh, we all rode on one elephant. They're huge. Uh -huh. we, we were all sitting on its head, and it had no problem. OK. <laughs> There's nothing more that can be said to, to top that, Brandon. So congratulations. <laughs> or I don't know how that goes. Sanjay Srinivas, uh, you just recently celebrated the Indian Festival to Welcome Spring, right? Yeah, it's We're the... We're all having uh, spring fever. How did you do that? Uh, it's the festival. It's called Holi. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, uh, a lot of people just congregate in a large field and they throw, like, vegetable dye at each other. So people end up very colorful at the end of it. What a thoughtful and interesting festival. I've never heard of that. That's wonderful. A kind of a rainbow celebration of the spring. Well... Happy spring, happy holy to you. I'll give you guys a chance to earn some points. You have two categories to choose from, barbershop or have you for dinner? Um, barbershop. Barbershop. All of these are barbers or have to do with barbers or barbering. In the Rossini opera, Don Giovanni is this title character. The Barber of Seville. Yeah. Right. It's an a cappella style featuring a quartet of usually male singers. A barbershop quartet. Right. A barber revealed that this mythological king of Phrygia has donkey ears. Uh, king Midas. Right. He's the demon barber of Fleet Street. Uh, Sweeney. Sweeney Todd. That is right. Johnny Depp played this title character and barber in a Tim Burton movie that is not Sweeney Todd. Edward Scissorhands. Good, because... <laughs> They didn't remember over in the judge's corner that he did that, too. This outgoing governor of Mississippi was recently caught up in a pardon scandal. Haley Barber. Right. And finally, he wrote the popular Adagio for Strings. With Samuel Barber. But you got 60 points. You have 105. Take a slight lead, and we'll be right back. Don't go away. And now we're back with the second half of Quiz Kids. Take it away, Brad. We'd like to give a big hand to the coaches for both our teams. First from Mills, Mr. Grant Paul. And from Carlmont, Ms. Patricia Bronstein. And normally, it looks like I'm totally independent, but I actually have a team of coaches. They, they consult me with me on my... My, uh, my poise, my intelligence, and my beauty. It is the Woodside Girl Scouts. Welcome. <laughs> and they're very helpful. In this next uh, three for all, we are going to bring the point value up. Your toss up will be worth 10. You can earn up to 25 or even 50 points if you answer three questions correctly. Good luck. Close game, you guys. Here's your next toss-up. Name this class of organic acids with the general formula R-C-O-O-H. Anurag. Uh, carbonyl groups? Um, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. You can steal. Carboxylic acids? You're right. This four-carbon acid gives rancid butter and body odor their rather unpleasant odors. It's a butanoic acid, and my coach is said to go, ew. Thank you. I hope I did that well. The, uh, the next one, the, the Hastings cutoff was an attempt to shorten the overland travel time to the West Coast. The cutoff went south of this body of water in present-day northern Utah. We are 
blocked here. I'm going to Christopher. Um, Salt Lake. I'm throwing it out. I'm going on to the next one. I'm sorry, Christopher. We're set. One philosopher's 1873 autobiography discusses his early education, including learning to read ancient Greek at the age of three. Name that utilitarian whose other books include On Liberty. John Stuart Mill. Baseball features a number of crosstown rivalries. Which crosstown rivals met in the 1989 World Series? Sanjay. The Giants and A's. That's correct. The earthquake that interrupted the 89 series was named for which mountain whose name means Dark Hill? Loma Prieta. And finally, which city's crosstown rivals last met in a World Series in 1906? Boston? No, the Chicago Cubs and White Sox. The Karakum Canal crosses a namesake desert to bring water for the, from the Amu Darya River to cotton farms around this country's capital. Name this Central Asian country lying directly north of Iran. Yes, Brandon. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. No, I'm sorry. You can steal. Uh, Uzbekistan. No, it's Turkmenistan. Uh, this a composer wrote two quintets, one for strings only and one for piano and string quartet. Name this Viennese composer better known for his hundreds of songs and his unfinished symphony. Yes, Sanjay. Schubert. Right. Yo-Yo Ma could tell you that Schubert's string quintet adds an extra one of what instrument? Cello. Right. Schubert's piano quintet in A major is often named after what oily fish? The trout. He blinded himself after he discovered the awful truth. He was both Richard. Oedipus. Uh, what physical deformity does his name Oedipus refer to? Swollen foot. Yes, correct. What blind Theban seer tried to warn Oedipus, but the king refused to listen? Tiresias. You got 50 points. Congratulations. What is the trigonometric function whose multiplicative inverse is the cosecant? Christopher. Sine. Well, so sine waves are smooth, repetitive oscillations. What kind of wave increases linearly upward and then sharply drops? Tangent. No, sawtooth. Czechoslovakia made several attempts to liberalize during the Soviet occupation. Alexander Dubček led this. Yes, Anurag. Prague Spring. Right. President Gustav Husak. Uh, resigned and ended communist rule in this peaceful December 80, 1989 revolution that led to a democratic Czechoslovakia. December's revolution? No, it was the Velvet Revolution. That is the end of this round. We'll give you the score when we return. Don't go away. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. We're back. The score, Carl, my 175, Mills 155. In our final round, I'll put three minutes on the clock. The questions are worth 30 points. Good luck to both teams. The clock will start when I read the first question. George Whitefield was active in which 1720? Yes, Anurag. Great Awakening. Yes. The Code of Hammurabi was first written in what script for ancient? Yes, Anurag. Cuneiform? Yes. Members of genus Caviar, that are, they are native to the Andes, where it is estimated that Peruvians eat 65 million of them each year. What are these rodents widely kept as pets? Benjamin. Chinchillas. No. Pets in the United States, whose name is a byword in English for being subject of experimentation. Ten. Guinea pig? Yes. A quote from the Satyricon begins what poem with sections titled A Game of Chess and The Burial of the Dead by T.S. Eliot. Richard. The Wasteland. Right. The Supreme Court addressed it in decisions such as Schenck and Brandenburg versus Ohio. The Free Exercise Clause and the Establishment Clause are found in which? Yes, Anurag. First Amendment? Yes. The K in CMYK color schemes is what color that names the C between Ukraine and Turkey? Uh, sorry. Sorry, Sanjay. It's the Black Sea. Uh, snakes with thermoreceptive organs typically contain sensors for it. Name this form of radiation that is longer than... Yes, Richard. Infrared. Right. Emilio Gil, Francisco Madero, and Porfirio Diaz all held what position more recently held by Vincente Fox and Felipe Sanjay? President of Mexico. Right. 
Guatemala, the Cook Islands, Fiji, and China have been settings for which CBS reality series that debuted in 2000 and is hosted by Jeff, yeah, Brandon? Uh, Survivor. Right. It often has a cutting word and a seasonal reference. What form of 17-syllable poetry originated in Japan? Yes, Anurag. Haiku. Right. Armistice Day was the first name of which holiday that once commemorated the end? Anurag. Veterans Day. Right. The case of Kitzmiller versus Dover banned the teaching of science as what idea supported by Michael Behe arguing? Yes, Anurag. Evolution? No. Arguing for an intelligence beyond behind evolution. Intelligent design. Intelligent design? Yes. Tom Sock Mountain, which is found between Springfield and Cape Girardeau on the Ozark Plateau, is the highest peak of what show me state? Sanjay. Missouri. Right. Ladybugs, Victory, Kicking and Screaming, She's the Man, and Bend It Like Beckham are all films about what sport played with the, yes, Brandon? Soccer. Yes. April 1964 was the only time in history when the top five songs on Billboard's charts were all recorded by the same, yes, Sanjay? Beatles. Right. Gilbert Blythe gives the hated name, nickname Carrots to which red-headed orphan who is raised by Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert on Prince Edward Island? Brandon. Annie. Uh, I have to Annie. get more. Little Orphan Annie. No, you can steal. Oh, it was um, Pippi Longstockings. No, it was Anne of Green Gables. Uh. Calomel and Cinnabar are ores of this heavy metal with atomic number 80. Name the element whose atomic symbol is HG. Anorak. Mercury. Right. Licinius was a less famous co-signer of what declaration issued two years after a similar one by... I'm sorry, that's the end of the game. And... 395 for Mills. 385 for Mills. 385 for... Come on, Mills is moving on. Congratulations. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration furnished by the Burlingame Scottish Rite, the Knights Templar, Model Compilers, the Bay Area Academic League. Some questions of Quiz Kids are provided by National Academic Quiz Tournaments.